My name is Nadia and I go by the name of Nadia K Coaching and to describe my business in one sentence is an inclusive online fitness platform. So social enterprise for me was to be able to give back what fitness gave to me. So I've always um, tried to identify problems and create business solutions for a more inclusive society. So I really did listen to people's barriers when it comes to fitness um, and you know I don't see them as excuses and a lot of people can't afford to be able to uh, pay for personal trainers and things like that and I don't think it's right that people should not be able to afford fitness so I've tried to create something for communities to be able to give back um, what fitness gave to me and that's you know better confidence, overall better physical and mental health. So Club Combat was uh, based in nightclubs and that was all about atmosphere, it's dark, loud music and it really, you know, that's the foundation of the business because that was people's barriers. They don't want the lights, they don't want to see themselves. Um, so to be able to recreate that through the pandemic in my kitchen was a real barrier. My top three business tips would be, first and foremost, network and get your product, or sell your product before you've actually launched it. I learned that the hard way. Um, that, that would be my number one business tip. Um, the next one would be have a really good business strategy and someone that's analytical on your team. Um, that's not really me. I'm a, more of a doer. Um, and yeah, again, I've learned, you know, it's taken a lot of years to understand that I need that. And the last one would be never ever forget your why. Really important. Not everybody is going to be happy for you. So not everybody is going to be passionate and excited about your idea, even though you think it's brilliant and you want everybody to be. As long as you stay passionate about it and you don't lose hope, you will eventually attract your tribe and keep, I would say, keep focused on that and don't allow those people that aren't um, as happy for you to kind of impact on your business and your idea. So I would say it's seeing people's mind and bodies transform and their confidence coming out and just being overall um, a better quality of life. That to me is just priceless. I would say there's going to be a million reasons along the way to quit or to stop. Don't accept a single one.